Okay, just got the gum out of my mouth, of course. <laughs> Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, click the little bell, share it with your friends. Now, um, I wanted to start off with, we got some really good feedback on the long videos, as well as me chopping them up and making them more um, accessible to everybody. So I think that's what we're going to do for a little while. I think I'm going to make like a one really long video and then we're just going to chop it up because dude, I'm telling you, especially on a Monday, you should see how much shit I have here. Oh my gosh. But the most important one, let's start out. Let's just start out with this. This is the most important one from Johnny Depp. Uh, apparently there are fake profiles. Apparently I can't even fucking believe that, like that people would believe that, but you know, it, it, it has to be said because people on the internet, of course, they're fucking morons. So this is from Johnny Depp's Instagram account. I've been made aware that there are fake accounts pretending to be me or people working with me. And he puts in underline, I do not have any private or side accounts on any platforms. These are the only pages run by me and my team where we share updates and communicate. And you can see it right there. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Discord. I ask that you remain cautious as it seems these fake accounts can be relentless. See, number one, why would you believe an account that's not official? Like, I understand. I mean, look, you can literally see right there, Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp. So you're trying to tell me that there's accounts out there that are, and like he says, relentless. That means that it's probably literally an Amber Heard fan that created an account to make it look like Johnny Depp is saying stupid shit. And that's so typical, so typical. There's absolutely, there, it's so typical, so believable because why, I think we've established that Amber Heard fans are pieces of shit. And why is that? Because we know what side of the aisle those people are. Amber Heard was the regime. She was the establishment. She was, and that's not political. That's not political. We're talking about you and I, right? Johnny Depp, he's the people. He's us. We are the people. Okay. Amber Heard wasn't that. Amber Heard was the establishment. She was the mainstream media. She was the piece of shit lying media. That's who Amber Heard was. And that's why since she has lost and we can all now tell that she's a lying sack of shit, all these people in the media have been propping her up, giving her all kinds of interviews. So it's more than likely, excuse me, more than likely the people running these fake Johnny Depp accounts are just Amber Heard supporters. So stupid. And then he ends off, my team is working to combat the problem. Thank you for your continued support and for making me aware of this issue. Love and respect, JD. Okay, now we have so much. Holy shit. Where am I going to start? Then you know what? Fuck this. Let's just go to the top. Let's see what we got at the top. Um, Where was the one that I just saw? Okay, here it is right here. We got a few things here. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go into a little lightning round. Here we go, real quick. From E! News, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky share Father's Day gift ideas. Now, Father's Day was yesterday. The reason I wanted to talk about this is... Are you trying to tell me that there's people that would be like... Oh, yeah, the Real Housewives, Kyle Richards, he's giving Father's Day gifts. I think I'm going to go and buy what he's talking about. Are you trying to tell me that there's people like that? I, sadly, sadly, I do believe that there are, dude. I do believe, I mean, I know it only has one like, but still, I think there are genuinely people. I mean, either that or this is just something to where E! News told some someone that works with them and they were like, hey, write an article that we can put out, you know, a fluff piece or some bullshit. Because who the fuck cares? <laughs> who the fuck cares? Who cares? Nobody cares what these people think. Just like nobody cares what I think. Like if I was to be like, oh yeah, you should buy your dad a grill. Like who the fuck cares what, what Andrew thinks, what pop culture thinks? Like no. I mean, of course, if it was a promo, if I was being paid to promote a grill, okay, then that's different. You know, but nobody fucking cares what these people think. Who, oh, yeah, he said, go and get him a... And, and you want to know what these people, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, dude, 
They're they're probably talking about. I bet if you were to go in that article, they're talking about rich people, expensive shit. They're not talking about stuff that's actually for us dads. It would just be like expensive bullshit that you don't even need. Next, police are searching for two men suspected of stealing nearly nearly eleven hundred gallons of fuel from a gas station in Florida. Well, hey man, not all heroes wear capes. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Next, exclusive skin treatment left me with third degree burns. I thought I was disfigured forever. Okay, excuse me. First of all, I don't know. Like I'm a guy, right? Like I do. I, I've always had these under eye circles things. I don't know that I would ever put anything there. I don't. I don't know. Number number two, I don't know that I would ever do anything to my face. Like I've seen some actors, and maybe we'll go into that, dudes. Like famous dudes that they've done f shit to their face and then they look all fucked up. You know what I mean? Because the person that I think about when I think about aging is like Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones looked old as fuck in Men in Black 3. Okay. So that's why they only had him in the movie for like 10 minutes total, I believe. At the beginning and at the end, right? But the thing is, you can tell that Tommy Lee Jones has never had any work done. Same thing with, with uh, J Johnny Depp. Remember that photo? I'll, I'll, I'll post it right there. But there was a photo in that Courtney Love story where you can see Courtney Love on one side and Johnny Depp on the other. And she's literally younger than him. It's insane. Uh, and that's because Courtney Love's had work done. Like, I don't understand these women in Hollywood, these rich women, and they have work done. And then you you don't even look good. Like, do you not know? I, I mean, they have to know, right? They have to know. They have to know that after they get this work done and then they look in the mirror, like, do they see a better self? Is that what they see? Or they just don't want to admit it in their mind? I don't know. But like this girl right here, look at her, look at her eyes, dude. Like, I, I guess that's what she did, right? She got like uh, some skin treatment under her eyes. No. Oh my gosh. No, dude. Number one, I'd never want to do anything to my face because I'm a guy. Like, we really don't need that. But there's also been a lot of famous dudes, you know, actors that they get work done and you're like, God damn, like, you look like shit. Next, student praise for pretending to be in hospital for crushes attention. Praised? Dude, that's just the culture we live in, bro. In, in my day, in my day, back in the 2000s, if you did something like that, bro, they'd call you a fucking freak. They'd call you some kind of a crazy person. You fake going to the hospital to get your crush's attention. But then again, look, it's a girl. Okay, so I guess, of course, you know, since it's a girl, nobody's going to tell her off. If I did that and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital and I'm going to pretend I'm sick in the hospital. They'd be like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Like, they'd be like, you're fucking crazy. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Next, Jason Momoa reports is single again. People reports, excuse me. Um, I think we've already understood why. I believe there are stories that are out saying that his wife left him or they had relationships, uh, relationship problems because of Amber Heard, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, like, I do. I do believe from what I understand. If I'm If I'm wrong about that, hey, I'm wrong. But I think that there were stories saying that Amber Heard caused problems between Jason Momoa and his chick. I, I do believe that. But if I am wrong, I, I don't think I am because I know I have seen it. I just got to go find it and then we'll, we'll see what happens. But I do believe this is also Amber Heard's fault. So next from Brian McPherson. And look at this, man. I just saw this. That's why I wanted to bring it to you. While Johnny Depp was talking about Amber Heard chopping his finger off. see like to comment on it I, I really don't even think I have to I think you can just see it and you can see I don't know dude it's just tough like to just not want to see not see that and want to just curse and say some vile shit you know and just roast her ass even more than we already have you know and next oh, Jesus Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker feed each other a new campaign. Oh, a campaign. Hmm. Remember I said that it all seems kind of fake? Why do they have a campaign? Dude, you want me to tell you what this feels like? This whole Courtney Kardashian, Scott Disick thing? 
it it feels like Kourtney Kardashian is using the public, the media. She's using them like as Facebook. You know, like when you break up with someone and then the girl goes on Facebook and she starts posting all these photos about how she's all happy, even though you, even though the person knows that you're miser they're miserable. Okay, I think that's what she's doing. She's using the media to push this fake ass shit. And, and hey, and I'll say it again. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I just think it's, I, it does. It just doesn't look real. What she's doing, it just does not look real. So that's the end of that. Oh, we got two more. Two more for the lightning round. Bam Margera missing. Jack uh, Jackass star bailed on court. Appeared appointed rehab. I also do believe he didn't come out in the in the the last movie. So, of course, he probably doesn't give a shit. Next, oh my god, this is the one from last week. Amber Heard admits to still loving Johnny Depp despite despite insisting he did rape and beat her. Look, man, you want to know what? I hope this bitch gets fucking sued again. And I, I hope that we have another fucking trial and we get to drag her ass all over again. Excuse me. That's what I fucking hope. I am so tired of her. I am so tired of her. And we did that extravaganza and that Amber Heard extravaganza is the one that everyone was saying. They're like, oh, I love these long videos. I love these long videos. But then I also got emails saying, oh, well, can you cut them up? You know, because I like to have them more incremental. So that's why we're doing what we're doing today. You know, and I guess thank you to Amber Heard because we roasted your ass for a fucking hour last week. So you, you're helping my channel. Thanks a lot, dumbass. Okay. Now, uh, what are we hitting? 1146. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking on this video. Share it with your friends. Now, this is brand spanking new. Brad Pitt's legal, uh, new legal swipe at Angelina Jolie compared to Depp v. Heard. I don't know about that, but we'll check it out. Let's see what's going on. Brad Pitt's long-running legal battle with ex-wife Angelina Jolie, which could result in a trial by jury, has drawn comparisons to the recent trial between Depp and Heard. Pitt, 58, and Jolie, 47? 47? She's only 47? Well, I guess she's going to need to get some work done. Anyways, uh, announced the end of their marriage in September 16 with Joe Lee citing irreconcilable differences in her divorce filing. While the Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Damn it. Mr. While the Mr. and Mrs. Smith co-stars who tied the knot in 14 were declared divorced in 19, they have since been battling over such factors as custody of their children and Jolie's sale of her shares. I believe this is what it's about. Sale of her shares of their wine business. Bro, I, I, if this is what it's about, I do believe it's about that. Sale of her shares. This is rich people problems. <laughs> this isn't like, this isn't like abuse. This isn't like anything. This is rich people problems. That's what this is. The erstwhile power couple purchased a controlling stake in the French vineyard at home Chateau Miraval, where they wed and vacationed with their family. Jolie reported, reportedly sold her share in the winery to the company Tenut del Mondo in October 21 per people. Pitt has stated that he grew the, the winery into a multi-million dollar global business and one of the world's most highly regarded producers of rosé wine while accusing Jolie of contributing nothing to Miraval's success. Damn. Well, if, there, if there's a trial between these two dudes, okay, so you're trying to tell me there could possibly be a trial between, between Marilyn Manson and Evan Rachel Wood. There was already a trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, and now there could be another trial between uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. What fucking dimension are we living in? Jeez. And then I'm really hoping that Will Smith and Jada have a trial too. That would be amazing. Could you imagine those four trials all in one year? Oh, please, God, let that happen. According to Pitt's filing, Tanute Del Mondo is indirectly owned and controlled by Yuri Scheffler. Yeah, Scheffler, the Russian billionaire. Ooh, uh -oh, Russian, we said the wrong word. Who controls the Stoli Group. He has stated that the company is bent on taking control of Miraval. With Pitt stating that Jolie's company, Nouvelle, owed his business mondo bongo what the fuck are these names the right of first refusal ahead of the sale he is now seeking damages in an amount to be proven at trial and wants the sale to be declared null and void the prospect of a celebrity court battle comes after dude from what we've read so far this has fucking nothing to do with johnny depp and amber heard absolutely nothing i guess just the fact that they could go to trial really well they got my fucking click 
The prospect of a celebrity court battle comes after Depp and Heard's high, prof uh, high profile defamation trial, which was televised from Virginia courtroom for six weeks between April and May. Depp 58, yada, 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 op had published, yada, 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 while Heard did not, well, yada, yada, yada. Though there were many fans watching the trial speaking out of support of Depp, Heard also had dedications. Uh, uh, oh, Jolie. Last week, sex and culture critic Ella Dawson took to Twitter to share screenshots of fans calling for the actor to pursue. Oh, this. so finally we get back to Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Last week, sex and culture critic Ella Dawson took to Twitter to share screenshots of fans calling for the actor to pursue defamation action against Jolie amid reports he was involved in an altercation with their eldest son, Maddox. Well, aren't, th aren't their kids, like, not all his? Like, she has, like, a bunch of kids that she adopted or some shit, right? Brad Pitt fans want him to pursue legal action against his ex-wife, Angelina Jolie. Precedent has been set, wrote Dawson, of the tweets, one of which included the hashtag justice for Brad Pitt. Yeah, I don't know about that. I haven't read shit. And like this, if this is what we're talking about, then justice for Brad Pitt. Dude, this is rich people problems. But fine. But fine. It has to do with Depp Hurt. Fine. Uh, much like what had been used for Depp. And then here we go right here. Brad Pitt, pan, Brad Pitt fans want him to pursue legal action. And then uh, here is something. Oh, they're just showing a couple of fucking tweets. This is the door that Depp's... Oh, my God. This is the door that Depp's jury opened, tweeted another apparent Heard supporter. Of course a fucking Amber Heard supporter would say that stupid shit. Of course. <sighs> Supporter about the potential of a trial between the Hollywood stars. However, another countered the uh, counter that the jury simply did its job in coming to the verdict. Exactly. No, the jury made their verdict based on evidence, as we all did. One person wrote in response to the hurt supporter, nobody gets a free pass that leaves every single door open, dangerous thinking. Similarly, another commented, and what if this is true? He deserves due process. She deserves due process. Everyone deserves due process. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Whatever. It, let me just tell you, if Brad Pitt was accused of sexual assault, he'd barely be getting due process right now because Amber Heard just fucked me too. Okay, that's the only reason. So if this was happening and let's say Brad Pitt was accused of sexual assault in 2021, he wouldn't have got due process. So shut the fuck up with that shit. We've barely gotten to the point where men will now get due process. And let's make that fact very clear. Very, very clear. So opening a door is due process seems pretty easy to comprehend. Words matter, even the ones that are lies. What? Words seems pretty easy to comprehend. Words matter, even the ones that are lies. Whatever. Fuck that. No, I'm, I'm not even going to go into that. Insisting there is no connection between the legal actions, another said Brad Pitt suing Angelina Jolie over this wine company has nothing to do with Johnny Depp win, a win against Amber Heard and supporters. Uh, and I'm doing against Amber Heard. Amber Heard supporters. It has everything to do with Angelina selling her half of their wine company to a Ro Russian oligarch. In court documents, Pitt's legal team had accused Scheffler of launching a hostile takeover of Miraval and attempting to obtain confidential and proprietary information for the benefit of his competing enterprise. I mean, it's just fucking rich people problems, man. That's all that that is. He's, I mean, I guess I understand. What would you sue for? Like, you're suing for money. It's rich people problems. That's what it is, right? Because there's no there there. There's no damages. There's nothing, like, that she did to him. Like, it's just rich people problems. But, hey, if they go to trial, sure, why not? We'll cover it because, I don't know, whatever, because they go to trial. Fine, whatever. Okay, now... Now, this is getting very juicy. This Ezra Miller thing. Now, I'm gonna. I just want a disclaimer. We're going to try and use the person's pronouns. I know this person is a they, right, or they them, or something like that. Look, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm not about pronouns. I could. I could give a fuck. But if somebody asks me, like if they say Andrew, please use my pronouns correctly. Fine, you asked. But me as a person, no. If I don't know, like if I was to see a waiter, you know, at Applebee's or some shit, and it looks like a man, I'm going to say sir. Okay, and then if they say, oh, you said sir, that's not my pronoun. Okay, I'm sorry. It was an accident. You look like a man. What? Okay, so we're going to try as hard as we can to use proper pronouns with this person because they've already established that they are a 
they, okay? But I do believe there's two articles, right? Um, Let's see. No. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, we got one right there, and we got another one right there. And we got... I, no, there's only... Yes, there is only two. Okay, so we're going to get into this, but we're going to get into this tweet first. Here we go. From Culture Crave, Warner Brothers reportedly has no plans to work with Ezra Miller again after, as the, uh, again after The Flash. The hope is that the scandals will remain at a low level before the film is released. So this dude's having all this bullshit happen, and he's still going to get the movie? Damn, dude. These people fucking suck, man. Fucking Warner Brothers. Well, Warner Brothers, isn't Warner Brothers DC? Is DC? Or it's two different things. Hold on. Let's see. Is DC Warner Brothers? DC Films and Management. Yeah, subsidiary of Warner Brothers. What the fuck, man? First you people do this with Amber Heard, and now you're doing this with fucking Ezra Miller. Bro, you need to hear what this guy's done. Okay, so let's go into that other article first uh, right here. From Comic Book Resources, the Flash star Ezra Miller has deleted their Instagram account after posting a string of memes taunting authorities who are actively searching for the actor. What a fucking moron. Oh, my God, Ezra Miller. Bro, like, and I'm not saying that pronouns. I'm not saying bro is in pronouns. Like, you know what that is? That's entitlement, bro. That's all that is. It's just an entitled asshole. And that's all that is. Okay, let's see right here. Uh, the Flash is Ezra Miller deletes Instagram. The Flash star Ezra Miller deletes Instagram. I'm looking for the actor. Okay. The Flash star Ezra, <laughs> again, three times in a row, posting, uh, posting a variety of memes taunting authorities who are actively searching for the actor after they were accused of manipulating and grooming an underage fan. Hey, Evan Rachel Wood, you see what they said right there? Grooming an underage fan. Underage. You can't be fucking groomed if you're an adult, you moron. Going on, as reported by the Direct, the images were posted directly to Miller's Instagram story before the actor deleted his account. Deleted, excuse me, I said his, sorry. Deleted the account entirely. The memes themselves seemingly mock the legal officials who are pursuing the actor, featuring texts such as, you cannot touch me, I am in another universe. I said it in the video that I made about him a while back. The dude's probably on massive amounts of uppers. And that's what Adderall does to you. That's what Adderall does to you. A uh, message from another dimension. It's possible that these photos are a reference to The Flash, which will see protagonist Barry Allen meeting multi -uni what's it, multiversal versions of himself. Okay, and here's one. You cannot touch me. I'm in another universe. Message from another dimension. I am shielded from negative people and their ill intent. Zoom in, idiot. My spirit, mind, body, soul, and success are, what is that? Not altered by anyone's envy. I am protected from all negative energy, energy, NRG, energy people attempt to, um, energy people attempt to something at me, throw, oh, um, what? Negative energy people attempt to throw at me? subsequently cons consciously what is this it's clear and i don't know what that i can't even read what that says what is that who, who are hidden enemies whatever it says who are hidden enemies at the end whatever and then there's the last one me remembering how i was nice when i should have said who the fuck do you think you're talking to dude oh and here's another one headache people me what an asshole is that a pronoun asshole i don't know the longest of the five messages messages reads, I am shield here here's the whole thing we couldn't fucking read. I am shielded from the negative people and their ill intent. My spirit, mind, body, soul, success are not altered by anyone's envy. I am protected from all negative, illegible see exactly illegible people attempt to throw at me. Subconsciously and consciously I clear any and all any and all hidden peers who are hidden enemies. Whatever, that's so stupid. Miller is reportedly hiding from law enforcement officers after Chase Iron Eyes and Sarah Jumping Eagle were granted a protective order against the Flash Star on behalf of their 18-year-old child, Dakota Iron Eyes. The couple alleges that the actor took advantage of their child since Dakota was 12 years old. Wow. Engaging in cult-like, psychologically manipulative, controlling behavior. Excuse me, sorry. 
Iron Eyes and Jumping Eagle have Jumping Eagle have stated that Miller provided their child with access to alcohol and drugs. Twelve years old, dude. Dakota has since defended Miller, claiming that their father is transphobic. In a message posted to Instagram, Chase Iron Eyes and Sarah Jumping Eagle cast doubt on the legitimacy of the statement, revealing that Dakota doesn't have a phone. <laughs> so the do the what do you say for that? The person, the person, the person wrote that themselves. Dakota has since defended Miller saying the account is transphobic, transphobic in a message posted to Instagram. Chase Iron Eyes and Sarah Jumping Eagle cast down on the legitimacy of the statement revealing that Dakota doesn't have a phone. Wow, dude. This isn't the first time Miller has sparked controversy. The actor made headlines in early 2022 after they were arrested twice in Hawaii for harassment and assault. Despite the actor's recent actions, Warner Brother insists that it has no plans to remove Miller from the role of Barry Allen in the DC Extended Universe. Dude, you know what? You know where this goes to? To whoever's the top at fucking DC and Warner Brothers. We need to figure out who those people are, and you need to call. I'm going to call those fuckers out because those are the people that are making all this happen. They're keeping Amber Heard in the movie. They're doing all this kind of stuff, keeping this kind of person in their movie. I was going to say his. Sorry. Like, this is such bullshit, man. And here's the next one. From discussing film, a mother and her 12-year-old child have been granted a temporary harassment prevention order against Ezra Miller after they allegedly threatened their family and showed inappropriate behavior towards the child. Okay. <clears throat> I can't even believe I have to say this. If this wasn't the person that, that this is, like if this was a normal guy a straight person, no offense to whatever this person is sexually, if this was a normal man, this person would have been in prison forever ago. That's all there is to that. And that's all there is to that. But since they're a they... Okay, how much do we got here? Okay, not too much. The news comes on the heels of a number of other disturbing allegations that have surfaced against the 29-year-old, best known for their turn as the Flash in Justice League. Miller is also a non-binary. Last week, the parents of the 18-year-old environmental activist Dakota Iron Eyes requested that a court issue a protective order against Miller, stating in court documents that the actor met Dakota six years ago. Okay, so we're... This... This sounds more like a failure of the parents, dude. If you're letting your child communicate with a fucking older person, I mean, no offense to those two parents, dude, but where were y'all six fucking years ago? It's 2022. I mean, in 2016, are you telling... <laughs> Come on. Um, when they were 12 and Miller was 23, that Ezra uses violence, intimidation, threat of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent, Dakota. The parents also accused Miller of influencing Dakota's decision to come out as non-binary transgender. An unverified Instagram account presumed to belong to Dakota, Dakota denied the claims. The court has been unable to locate Miller to serve the papers, and Miller deleted their Instagram Wednesday afternoon, but not before posting a series of memes mocking the authorities. We saw those. Creator Mia Solange took to TikTok in April to accuse Miller of being an abuser, while the actor was arrested twice in Hawaii for disorderly conduct. See, this the thing about it is, bro, after those things happened in Hawaii, he, the, he not he, sorry, they should have been canceled immediately after that shit happened in Hawaii. Why the fuck didn't anything happen after all those things? And I talked about those things in my on my channel as well. You know, and that was before the Amber Heard trial. So why the fuck wasn't this person canceled then? I mean, you're talking to the qu the real question is how many people knew this person was talking to a 13, a 12, 13 year old and they still gave him the movie. Who the fuck is giving movies over at Warner Brothers at DC? Who the fuck is giving these people movies like you can't expect me to believe that they didn't know Amber Heard was a piece of shit. And then they also don't know that Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller, this person is fucking around with a 12 year old. Like, who the fuck is giving out movies at Warner Brothers? What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Um, the court has been unable to... Just, oh, okay, here we go. The court has been unable to locate Miller to serve the papers, and Miller deleted their Instagram, not before posting a series. I mean, uh, being an abuser, while the actor was arrested twice in Hawaii, conduct harassment, allegedly throwing a chair at a woman. On top of that, 
on top of all of that, in 2020, a video went viral of Miller attacking attacking a young female fan in Iceland. See, and then there's another one. I mean, if you're a normal person, excuse me, sorry, I know the word normal is frowned upon nowadays. If you're a normal guy, you throw a chair at a woman and you're canceled, bro. You're done. You don't get shit after that. So really, whose fault is this? Is it this person's fault, this Ezra Miller person? No, it's the people that enable them, which is funny because Amber Heard's whole shtick was, oh, powerful man, powerful man and the people that protect them. Well, who the fuck is protecting them? Who the fuck is still giving movies to Amber Heard when they knew that she was an abuser? Okay, because all those audios are from the UK trial. (laughs) So are you trying to get me to believe that people... And Warner Brothers never heard any of those audios from the UK trial? Are you trying to get me to believe that people at Warner Brothers didn't know that Ezra Miller was fucking around with a 12-year-old? Hey, Warner Brothers, DC, you might want to fire some people. I don't know what the fuck you people are doing over there. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. A video went viral of tagging a female fan and license through uh, the local authorities declined to investigate. Fine, whatever. Tensions began brewing when the mother says she mentioned doing some traveling recently with her tribe of people. Why the fuck is it in quotations? Whatever. You could have just said her tribe of people leading Miller to snap at her and accuse her of cultural appropriation. What? This person is literally accusing a literal Native American. (laughs) Hold on. What is the mom's name? What is the mom's name again? Where is it? Hold on. I think it's in the other, in the other article. What's the mom's name? Um, delete their Instagram in front of message in a dimension. Barry. Okay. Where's the, what's the mom's name? Shielded. Uh, Chase, okay, Sarah Jumping Eagle. Her name is Sarah Jumping Eagle, dude. And he's accusing her of cultural appropriation. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh my God. Look at that, I'm getting all fucking red. Uh, then a conversation about board games allegedly went sideways after Miller claimed that the board game Parcheesi had Rastafarian roots. Oh my God. The visiting neighbor who is half black questioned Miller as to which set of the Rastafari movement it originated from. And that's the one thing you don't do to those people. Sorry. Yeah, I did say those people. To the people that talk like that, cultural appropriation and, oh, you culturally appropriated. So if you question them, they get all, they get all mad. And yes, that's very political. Those people do exist. And if you want to find them, just go on Twitter. That's it. All you got to do is go on Twitter and go to find a political tweet and you'll find people exactly like that all over Twitter. And yes, if you question them, they will go off on you for absolutely no reason. At this point, Ezra explodes and started screaming directly into my face. The visiting neighbor tells me, they said, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. That's how they talk. What did you say to me? What did you just say to me? I was, I was very caught off guard. The visiting neighbor continues. They, then they opened up their jacket they had this like big Sherpa jacket and they opened up one side of their jacket. You could see a gun. What the fuck? And they said, talking like that could get you into a really serious situation. Bro, if somebody said that shit to me with a fucking gun, you better pull that fucking thing. Because especially if they're close to you, like right there, you better fucking pull that thing if you're going to show your gun, bitch. That's a bitch move, bro. That's like someone like going like that and then they pull their shirt up and they're like, oh, I've got a gun. Bro, you're right there. I could just attack you if I wanted to. What, and you know how long it takes you to pull your fucking gun? You fucking pussy. Um, next, according to the visiting neighbor, the mother and the child Miller focused their attention on then 11 year old saying, I've talked extensively when, with their child and they have a lot of power to them. What? Hold on. What? According to the visiting neighbor, the mother and the child Miller focused their attention on the then 11 year old. Okay. (laughs) Whoever's house this is. That person needs to be arrested because you allowed this person around your children. 
I'm sorry. We have to start putting the blame where it belongs. If you know that this person is a crazy freak weirdo, sorry we're saying that. Oops, I'm sorry. Ezra Miller, this freak weirdo that hits people and shows guns for no reason, is around children that are 11 years old and you know he's already fucking around with a 12-year-old. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you have them in your house? Why? Why do you allow these people around your children? What is wrong with these parents today? Um, I've talked extensively with your child and do just that. If somebody was to have told me I've talked extensively with your child, I would have literally jumped over the table and beat the shit out of them. Don't you ever fucking talk to my child. Don't you ever do anything with my child. Cause I swear to Christ, I'll snap your neck in front of everybody and I won't feel bad about it. I'm sorry, dude. Leave people's kids alone, bro. Leave people's kids alone. God damn it. I hate that. Oh. And they have a lot of power to them. At one point, you're going to realize that you don't have any control over them anymore. They're an elevated being, and they would be lucky to. And they would be lucky to have someone like me guide them. Dude, right there, right there, when somebody says that about your fucking child, you jump over the goddamn table and you beat the shit out of them right there in front of everybody. If, if, look at that, I'm genuinely angry now. I'm genuinely pissed off. Oh, my God. They say Miller proceeded to turn to the mother who dresses goth. Oh, no fucking wonder. No fucking wonder. You dumb bitch. And who dresses goth and accused her of being a witch and a vampire, repeatedly yelling at her, do you want to drink my blood, do you? Miller apologized for the outburst, only to return to pester the family to pester the family on a number of other occasions, including the in late April and May and on June 4th, dressed as a cowboy. Yeah, now who's fucking appropriating culture, you stupid fuck? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with these people and kids. And they just, they want to get to kids. What is going on with this kid thing? I swear to Christ, if I was to meet someone like that and they said anything about my children, I, I wouldn't be able to control myself and I have no problem saying it. And I have no problem fucking saying it. Stay away from people's children. God damn it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So there, there we go about uh, Ezra Miller. There we go about that bullshit. So now, now, I can't even believe that this is real. So let's go into this cascading moronic shit because it's just like it starts at horrible and then it just cascades into idiotic bullshit so look at this stupid shit from rob rogers whoever the fuck this moron is my cartoon published 6922 consider and then look at this look at the dumbass consider supporting my work on patreon and look at the fucking cartoon and it has normal people because they made a fat guy and a normal looking woman like they're making them look as if normal people right i love everything johnny depp does and it says wife beaters of the caribbean People like this. And look, dude, look at the fucking hashtags. Me too. I told you. These people in media, they're all fucking toxic feminists. Even the men. Fucking moron. And then he goes on to say, I'm not, I am certainly not saying men can't be victims of abuse or that Amber Heard was an innocent victim. Their relationship was clearly toxic and volatile. Where, dude? Where? I still haven't heard anything, but that's fine. The trial's over. We won. Who the fuck cares? But to say that there is only one interpretation of the trial is a bit closed-minded. Uh, you know what? Fuck you and your closed-minded bullshit, Rob Rogers, you stupid cunt. What an idiot. And then look, he goes on with this. This trial should have been in California. I told you. I told you. this. They wanted it in California, so none of this shit would have happened. And now we know what's going to happen with the Marilyn Manson trial. The Marilyn Manson trial is not going to be public. This is why. Because they don't want these women to lose in public, dude. <sighs> this trial should have happened in California, not Virginia. This jury should have been sequestered. Sequestered major witnesses and evidence were not allowed by the judge. <laughs> and you're going to see why. This story in the New Yorker lays out some of the evidence left out and bad breaks for Herd's team. So fucking stupid. <sighs> so... I'm going to fucking roast this bullshit. So let's do it. From the New Yorker. 
the Johnny Depp Amber Heard verdict is chilling. Ooh, ooh. Stupid bitch. Many victims of domestic violence who watch this trial will likely conclude that if they share their experiences, they will be disbelieved, shamed, and ostracized. Oh, really? Or only the ones that are fucking lying? Dude, this is why it's bullshit. Literally 80% of all of my subscribers right now are domestic violence victims because most of my subscribers come from the Johnny Depp trial. Like, dude... This is the f this is what I'm talking about. These people are fucking morons. And this is a woman. This isn't this other Rob Rogers fucking idiot didn't didn't write this. This is a woman. Okay, and what's her where is it? I think I got her name at the very end. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, look, there's a lot. Oh no, I didn't get her name, but I'll see if I can post her name. It's it's she's so stupid, dude. And look how much there is. There is a lot. So let's just jump in and we what do we have? Forty minutes? During closing arguments in the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard, one of Heard's attorneys, Benjamin Rottenborn, piece of shit, described a series of catch-22s that often ensnare women who, like Heard, accuse their partners of domestic violence. Listen to this stupid shit. If you didn't take pictures, it didn't happen. If you did take pictures, they're fake. <laughs> Whatever. See, and something like that, you have to say whatever because the only thing you can do is like obscenity, like uh, scream obscenities and curse. That's all you can do because it's so fucking stupid. Um, he said, if you didn't tell your friends, you're lying. And if you did tell your friends, they're part of the hoax. Just keep going. If you didn't seek medical treatment, you weren't injured. <laughs> oh, my God. If you did seek medical treatment, you're crazy. But she didn't. But she didn't. That's the thing. She didn't. If you get a bottle stuck up your fucking vag, I'm pretty sure you're going to need medical treatment. How open was she that she needed that she didn't need medical treatment after getting a bottle? stuck up her vag oh, and look i don't know the girl's name so i can't roast her ass <sighs> rottenborn uh rottenborn did not name a few other damned if you do scenarios that were advanced by depth's ferociously adept legal team what the fuck ferociously adept legal team in the course of the six week long trial if you surreptitiously record <sighs> If you sir, were, uh, were advanced by Depp's ferociously adept, again, she said it twice, dude, in two sentences, ferociously adept legal team in the course of the, oh, okay, sorry, I, thank God, I was about to be like, dude, she really said it twice in this article. If you surreptitiously record abusive behavior, you are conniving and untrustworthy. Yeah, because you do it without, that's, that's the deal. What do you not fucking understand? And that's why this person probably has no idea. She made the videos, they made the videos together, they made the audios for their marriage. That was the point of all of that. The entire point was to say, hey, can I make a video of us arguing right now? You're supposed to tell the person. That time where she got Johnny Depp slamming the cabinets, she wasn't allowed to do that by him. She wasn't allowed to do that. She wasn't supposed to do that. That, wasn't, uh, that was against the rules of their marriage, dude. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, you stupid bitch? God damn it. Oh, my God. Um, here we go. Here we go. If you ever try to laugh off your partner's ghastly behavior because the cycle of abuse is no less terrifying for being so pathetic and re and predictable, then it's not abuse. Whatever. I'm just going to keep going. I can't. If you talk, if you talk back or fight back, then you are the real. Ab <sighs> Whatever, man. If you talk back or fight back, see, the only thing I want to do is scream obscenities. That is all I want to do to this and to this person because you can't, you have to understand, these people are never going to get it. The way you and I get it, the way that we understand that Amber Heard was the real abuser, the way, see, for this woman, I don't know her name and I want to call her ass out. For this woman, dude, the only thing that this is about is about the fact that a woman, lost that's it it has nothing to do with evidence it has nothing to do with real life shit it's just the fact that a woman 
lost. That is it. The jury was not swayed by Rotten Board's litany, or perhaps they took it literally. On Wednesday, a panel of five men and two women found... See, and that was the thing. Two women. Could you imagine if there was seven dudes, what they would be saying now? Jeez. And found that her defamed Depp in an op-ed for the Post in December 2018 refer, by referring to her, uh, herself as representing domestic abuse by stating that she witnessed how institutions per, uh, protect men accused of abuse. And that doesn't make sense. How? How? Did you ever notice that she always just said that? I mean, how? How did Disney protect Johnny Depp? They fired his ass. I don't understand how that happened. And also, I do believe he lost other movies for that. So how the fuck are you talking about that he, he would, the institutions protected men accused of abuse? How? What the fuck are you talking about? You stupid bitch. And by, tweet, and by tweeting a link to the online version of the op-ed, which carried the headline, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath, this has to change. Depp was awarded $15 million in damages, heard reportedly a plans to appeal. The jury also found that Depp was liable for defamatory statements that is from blah, 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 blah. Uh, heard did not write the headline. <sighs> Man, god damn it. See, this is why I hate these people. Look, I'm like squeezing my phone as hard as I can. Her did not write the headline, and in the article, she specified that she had been sexually assaulted by the time I was of college age. Well, why doesn't she call that guy out? Well, who's that guy? Who's the guy that did it when she was of college age? Why the fuck don't you call that person? Because I, all, I, all I understand is it was just Don, Johnny Depp. That was only it. Why didn't she say anyone else's name? Well, by, assaulted by the time I was of college age. <laughs> You're just fucking... Ugh, mm. In fact, her does not dip. Oh my God. In fact, her does not name Deb at all in the post piece, which was proposed and initially drafted by the ACLU. Oh, so this person is dropping the ACLU. They're throwing the ACLU under the bus, and which argued for reauthorizing the Violence Against Women Act and prever- and preser- preserving, excuse me, Title IX protections against sexual assault in schools. Whatever the trial, in short, turned the op-ed into our boroughs. What was intended as a Me Too testimonial about women being punished for naming their experiences became a post Me Too instrument for punishing a woman who named her experiences. She didn't name her experiences, you fucking moron. She lied in front of everybody. What the fuck are you talking about? Her did accuse Deb of domestic violence when she filed for a temporary restraining order in 16, and at that time she appeared in paparazzi photos, blah, apparent bruises that weren't real, blah, blah, blah. In bringing the suit against her, Depp mounted a case. In bringing the suit against her, Depp mounted a case for defamation by implication. Implication. Oh, my God. The pivotal 12 words in the 2018 op-ed were, then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse. This is an accurate statement, but Depp argued that Heard was able to make that statement only because she had lied and faked her injuries when she sought the restraining order. What the fuck? You st- Whatever. The burden of proof uh, rested with the with Depp's side to demonstrate that Heard had engineered an abuse hoax across several years that the defamatory implication of her op-ed was designed to in, and intended by Miss Heard and that she had acted with actual malice. She had. She literally said that it was because he was he got so much love from everybody. That's why she wanted to do it. Dude, this person probably didn't even watch the fucking trial and they're still speaking. I want to hit my forehead so hard, but um, it's going to turn red, and that's why I don't want to do it. God damn it. <laughs> Which the Supreme Court in New York Times, blah, 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 defy making a statement, blah, 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 blah. It would have seemed to be Hurt's case to lose one time, ladies and gentlemen, one time if he abused her one time, Amber wins. So, whatever. Roddenborn told the jury, actually, if he fails to prove that he never abused her one time, Amber wins. And yet she lost. See, this is all that it's about. You're fucking crying because she lost. She lost despite vile text messages from Depp. Okay, fine. Where is is his anger supposed to go? Exactly. He's not supposed to get angry. 
This is how these women think. They think that a woman should be able to do whatever she wants and bitch at him and moan and, and cry and, and poke at him and do anything and do anything. And he shouldn't even be allowed to tell people through text that he's mad. Like, dude, I think that's the perfect thing you're supposed to do. Put your anger in places that are not physical violence. What the fuck? Uh, spinning out violent fantasies of rape and murder? Rape. See, this is not, that's not even true. That's literally, literally not true. Rape and murder. He would, that they wanted to have sex with her dead body? Is that supposed, I guess, fine, fine, rape, fine. Uh, she lost despite photograph after, fo <laughs> she lost despite photograph after photograph of cuts, bruises, and swelling where there was absolutely no swelling. She lost despite audio recordings of depth verbally. She lost despite audio recordings of Depp verbally abusing her. <laughs> she lost despite her sister, multiple friends, a makeup artist, and a couple's counselor attesting to seeing her injuries. <laughs> and she lost despite facing the jury and recounting graphic, painful episodes of alleged physical and sexual violence. So stupid. Heard admittedly was not good on the stand. Oh, really? Oh, admittedly. Oh, really? You think? She did a lot of tearless crying. Dude, right there, tearless crying. End the article. Just end it. Don't even fucking speak after that. How are you expecting? You're trying to tell me that we should have looked at her fake crying with no tears and we should have been like, oh, yeah, we're going to believe her. Oh, yeah, we're going to believe her. You stupid bitch. And she often appeared to be performing her sorrow rather than reliving it. Absolutely. She was much better squaring off with unconquerable Camille. What? No, she was not. Unconquerable Camille Vasquez, another of Depp's lawyers. If you didn't watch the trial, picture Regina George from Mean Girls as the defense attorney in the accused. Did they just call Camille Vasquez Regina George? What the fuck? And then listen to this bullshit. Then again, if Herd had testified with perfect composure, she might have been pilloried as calculated and unfeeling. That is absolutely not true. No, no, absolutely not. We were all expecting her to cry the first day. Not fake cry for seven days straight, dude. Literally, and, and actually, that I, I take that back because remember the week the week-long event? I mean, the week-long break? When we came back from that week break, she wasn't crying anymore. Remember? So this person is full of shit. <sighs> then again, if her to testify to pilloried, if she had cried an ocean as Patricia Bowman when she testified against William Kennedy Smith in his 91 rape trial, she might have been ridiculed as messy and hysterical. Dude, nobody believed her. She wasn't believable. It has nothing to do with if she cried, if she didn't cry. She was not believable. What do you not understand about that? Like, just keep on crying, dude. You lost. You fucking lost. And that's it. Uh, she might have missed it just as Bowman was, but that returns us to Rotten Bourne's list of all the pincer movements that close in on abuse victims. The accuser's effect and presentation are somehow more damning incrimination than, say, a video of her alleged abuser trashing a kitchen. That's it? That's all you have to say? You think that... And that's exactly... That's what they just fucking said. The accuser's effect and presentation are somehow more damning incrimination than, say, a video of her alleged abuser trashing a kitchen. Bro, I, you're not going to get me to believe, you're not going to get me to understand ever, ever for the rest of my life that a man trashing a, his own fucking kitchen that he bought and he paid for, that deserves her $100 million. No, you're never going to make me believe that. And I'll never let you, you fucking lying sack of feminist shit. Oh, sorry for the feminists. They're going to get mad. Dude, you know what? I think y'all need to y'all need to call out your feminism right here and say it in the comments. You need you need to call these people out. And you need to do it yourselves. The women out there that are being dragged for being feminism because it gets so annoying that I have to add toxic feminists because dude, these women aren't feminists, bro. They're not feminists. They are not. Real feminism is not hating men, dude. That is not real feminism. And I don't fucking care what any of them say. That's not real feminism. 
Heard also lost because her legal team couldn't catch a break. They did not succeed in moving the... Oh, my God. They did not succeed in moving the case from Virginia where Depp filed suit and where the post servers are situated to California where Depp and Heard reside, where much of their relationship unfolded and where legal protections known as anti-slap laws for people who speak up on matters of public interest, such as preventing domestic violence, are significantly stronger than in Virginia. Oh, so you're admitting it. You're admitting it. You wanted the ca- the case to go to California, so that way she would have probably won. So at least they, at least this dumbass admits it. What an asshole! They could have gotten the case dismissed in the dismissed after the high court in London uh, in 2020 ruled against Depp and his libel claim. We already know that fucking trial was bullshit. Uh, and the tabloid The Sun, which called him a wife beater, the judge then the judge in that case found that 12 of Heard's 14 abuse accusations as presented in court were proven to be substantially true. Do, do you even read your stories before you put them out? Do you know what you're saying right there? I don't think they do. I think these people are so fucking dense and they're so fucking stupid. That they don't know. You just admitted that what happened in the UK court was bullshit. You're literally admitting it right there, dude. How fucking stupid are you? They cannot exclude from the jury pool a man who read out the following text from his wife. Amber is psychotic. If a man says a woman beat him, they never believe him. They cannot present evidence in Hurd's favor that the judge Penny uh, Azcarate ruled out as hearsay. So now we're supposed to allow hearsay into a trial? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Including testimony ruled out as hearsay um, from several medical professionals that Heard had reported contemporaneous episodes of abuse to them and a series of text messages from one of Depp's employees, Stephen Duders, in which Duders appears to acknowledge that Depp physically harmed Heard in an airplane. When I told him he kicked you, he cried physically harmed because he kicked her fine whatever whatever we we're almost done (laughs) but the two most crucial strikes against her may have been that Ascar Ascar what is it Ascarate permitted cameras in the courtroom and did not sequester the jury a perfect one a perfect one two for Depp's online brand of asymmetry warfare asymmetrical god damn it I can't read today trials are not often live streamed in Virginia Dude, you want to know what? They're just listing all the ways that they could have won. And and none of it is actually because she was, uh, because he was an abuser. None of it. None of what this article says is listing how she would have won because he's an actual abuser. They're just listing things. It's just like the people in the Super Bowl. When your team loses and you're like, oh, the refs or the field or the ball was flat. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. You lost. Trials are not often streamed. That one, that one centered on allegations of a domestic abuse, including sexual assault, was televised and downright shocking. Certain passages of Heard's testimony in the UK case were kept confidential even in the final ruling in the US. Those details, as recounted by Heard in Virginia, were made available on U- uh, YouTube in perpetuity. The trials live... What? The trials live... U.S. Those details. Uh, the trials live stream provided hours of raw material for the fan cams. What the fuck? Why? Well, so why can't we have the raw material? Why can't we hear everything? Because you're a piece of shit, and you only want your narrative. You only want you to have the upper hand. You don't want the people to know what's going on because you're a lying piece of shit. Uh, material for the fan cams, TikTok lip syncs, and cheapo animations that the pro Depp legions, oh my god, used to saturate every corner of digital space. Remember, to, remember tonight, do not use any outside research. The judge would often admonish to the jury when they took a break, revealing the naivete about the inexorable seepage of the Justice for Johnny movement into every social media feed. So now they're giving the excuse that the jury saw everything on social media. Dude... Whatever, man. How many more excuses you morons got? The case only required glancing at TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram. Are aren't they there? Are they admitting the? You know what? what whatever. Whatever. Oh, I'm so tired of this. Instagram, where heard was the cast of delusional harpy. TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram, where heard was cast as the delusional harpy, and Depp was a lovable rogue. No, and, and I'm not even gonna comment on that. No, on that. As Amanda Hess wrote in the Times, I did not follow the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. It followed me. 
In a previous piece, I wrote about how this trial evoked revenge porn, enforcing the defendant to document and participate in her own spectacular humiliation in front of a judge, a jury, and the viewers at home. If Depp's prime motivation in bringing the suit against her was to embarrass and stigmatize her, then he would have won, regardless of the verdict that he became a men's, right, a men's rights folk hero in the process, kind of, but yeah, not really, may have come as a surprise even to him. Others have already taken cues from his success. In March, Depp's longtime buddy, Marilyn Manson, who is the godfather to Depp's daughter, filed a defamation lawsuit against the actress Evan Rachel Wood, who has publicly accused Manson of emotional abuse and rape. Meanwhile, domestic violence advocates have spoken widely of the chilling effects of the case that men, that victims may conclude from these proceedings that they would be disbelieved. Dude, come forward with photos like Rihanna and everyone will believe you. It's not that fucking hard to understand. Quit being a little bitch. Quit crying like a little bitch. If you have real photos because you actually got your ass kicked, people will believe you. Quit crying like a little bitch. Jeez, the real legacy of this entire ugly debacle. Oh, hold on. Disbelieved, harassed, shamed, and ostracized if they press charges or share their experiences. Come forward with photos like Rihanna and we'll believe you. It's not that fucking hard. It's not that hard. If you're trying to tell me that the guy said some mean words to you, nobody's going to believe you either. Dude, some mean words. I've said mean words. That means I'm an, that means I'm an accuser? Really? No, fuck you. Like, you can kiss my fucking ass. Come forward with photos like Rihanna and we will believe you. It's not that fucking hard to understand. The real legacy of this entire ugly debacle then may never be fully known. A pimp, what is it? Palimps, palimpsest of stories not told, of justice not sought. Man, that was such a bullshit article, dude. I am now, I am now stupider for reading that. I am now more of a moron for reading that. See, and that's the thing that's great. great. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for sticking with me this long. We're going to stay here, damn, over an hour. This is the best part for me about this is like, I'm a nothing. I'm a nothing from nowhere. I have nothing to lose. That's why I don't care when I come on my show and I fucking tell all these people to fuck off. What are you going to do? You're going to throw me in prison? Ooh, I've been there already once. I don't fucking care. What are you going to do? You're going to sue me for what? I'm broke. I'm a broke piece of shit. I can't even make money from my YouTube videos because I don't have a valid ID. <laughs> Like, I'm nothing, bro. I'm not afraid of you people. I'm not afraid of telling this person to fuck off. I'm not afraid of getting a lawsuit from anybody. Fuck you, dude. Fuck all you people. I don't fucking care. I'll, I'll sit here in front of this camera and I will tell all those people to fuck off. And I am not afraid of them. What are you going to do? What? Try it. Sue me. I'll wipe my ass with it. I don't care. What are you going to sue me for? I got gum right here. I bought breakfast this morning. I got like $12 in my bank account. I can't even cash in on my YouTube videos. I'm nothing, bro. And you want to know what scares these people? A man with nothing to lose. And that's what I am. I've lost everything in my life. Everything. Probably the only thing I have left is my mom. You know, and, or, and my two older tias because they live with us. But, dude, I'm, I'm nothing, dude. Like, some people have asked me, are you afraid to speak? Like, are you afraid that you're speaking up for, for Johnny Depp and you're talking about Marilyn? No, I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm not afraid of any of these people. Why? Because what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Shame me? Bro, write articles about me. I would love that. All press, any press is good press. And you ain't going to fucking make me. And, and it's even funnier because if people were to read articles about me, like hit pieces or something, they'll be like, oh, yeah, he is like that. <laughs> they'll be like yeah that's true you're, what you're saying is true yeah it's not it's not like i'm gonna be like i'm gonna read an article about me and i'm gonna be like oh no they wrote an article about me oh my god what am i gonna do oh dude i you th this is the thing people asked me in my emails and this was this past weekend and they were like are you afraid of what could happen because you're speaking up no i'm not afraid at all i don't fucking care I have nothing. I am nothing. And I can't even, like, they're like, oh, these YouTubers are making a living off of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Bro, I can't even make money from my fucking videos because I don't have an identity. I don't have an ID that's valid because I'm a felon. I'm a felon, piece of shit, nothing. You think I'm afraid of you people? No. I'll sit here and I'll tell Amber Heard and all the fucking toxic feminists to go fuck themselves. And I'll tell Evan Rachel Wood and all those toxic feminists to go fuck themselves. Please write articles about me. I'm begging you. Give me more press. Because I'll tell you right now, you're not taking me down. Nobody's going to take me down. Nobody. 
So we're going to leave it there. We're just going to cut up this video. There's going to be some other stuff, and then you'll see it. You'll see it happen. But um, um, do I have anything else? I think that's about it. So we will. Oh, excuse me. So thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking on this video, staying with me this long. We will catch you next time.